We've decided to fish this spot exclusively all day today for good reason. If you look at the river dynamics in this pool, it really has everything fish would be looking for. A deep drop into the pool, two converging currents creating highly oxygenated water, not to mention the perfect grocery store food delivery aisle. Pool depths offer protection from birds of prey, but indicates we must be versatile in our presentation of these fish. We know as the bug activity heats up, fish will push into this pool and pools like it to feed easily. This kind of pool structure is a favorite of Pete's because the fish will eventually start surfing the pool, meaning they will use the complex currents to ambush emerging bugs. It's midsummer and the PMD hatch has been absolutely incredible. The fish are your indicator to the emergence of the hatch. This phenomenon is actually visible to the naked eye, as seen from above, allowing a watchful angler to present their nymphs to sight-casted fish while waiting for those fish to switch to eating dry naturals. Oh, this is a good one, Pete. Looks like a good one. It jumped, it looks like a big brown. So it's funny how the day goes on, you see more bugs, gets really active. Starting to move, starting to eat. Nice. Big rat, is it brown? Brown, big brown. So fishing with a yarn indicator, uh, as we have been today, is a unique way of upping the level of sensitivity when these fish eat, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this thing literally moved probably two millimeters. Yeah. It it hardly budged barely, at all. And you set right on them and... Yeah, and look at the result. A gorgeous, gorgeous 18 inch brown. How do you like that? Oh, that's a good one. Ugh. It's coming at me. <laughs> no, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, so these yarn indicators are the most sensitive thing I've fished with and any unnatural movement that you get, a little tiny tick, any kind of movement, set the hook. As guides often say, hook sets are free. Right. And now I cringe to think how many fish I've missed <laughs> over my career because I haven't set a hook on, on, a, uh, on an unnatural movement on, on an indicator. So, a oh, nice rainbow, nice rainbow. Right in there, speedy delivery. That's a good looking fish too, Pete. Beautiful fish, big bow. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry fly. Oh, so good. Whoa. Oh, what a fish on a dry. Can't beat it. Just after lunch, and we're watching this pool, and they were coming up. They started coming up and eating PMDs. We got a little wolf on and a, and a merger. And it's lights out fun. That's not that rainbow, though. That's the brown. That's the brown. Cool, so we're uh, just setting up what I call kind of a short leash nymph rig. So I'm gonna start at the top. I've got just a butt section here, maybe, I don't know, 18 inches or so. Got a little yarny indicator on here. We're fishing a lot of water. It's kind of slow. The fish are hanging in a fairly shallow, slow zone. So we're gonna need something very, very, uh, very sensitive. So when you've seen those eats, it's gonna go down. A lot of times the big indicators, you're not gonna see the eats. So this yarn's awesome for that. From there, I've got pretty much just a loop and I'm tying off just a straight piece of, this is about like 10 pound, um, one X, something similar to that. Um, I've got, I don't know, maybe two and a half, three feet. 
Then again, kind of like our nymph rig, got just a little swivel, a little putty on there. From there down, I'm running 4X fluoro and 4X fluoro to both flies. So again, 16, 18 inches or so to that first fly and right about the same to our second fly there. And it feels like a good one. Pete says that this, this lower section of the river is a big fish section. There's not as many fish here, but they are big. And yeah, he's, he's pro proven correct. I haven't even seen it yet, but just by the way it's behaving. There we go. Nice. Good fish. So in Montana, it's legal to fish with two flies. Um, two, fishing two flies is great. The only problem you have with fishing two flies is sometimes a fish will come and eat, let's say the point fly, uh, do a jump and the bottom fly gets caught in the fish's body. That's the downside and generally the hook pops out. And that's what's happened with this brown trout is that he ate, we watched him eat, but he got tagged in the adipose fin and that's why it took me all the way down the river. <laughs>